Democrats were the ones that were for slavery. The Democrats were the ones that came up the Jim Crow stuff. Even if all of that were true about slavery, which party flies the Confederate flag today? A lot of de a lot of the Democrats. You really think yes. Democrats fly the Confederate there, flag? There's more Democrats than that yes. They're, Overwhelmingly, they're, you'll see a Confederate flag right next to a Trump flag. That's just how it works no, nowadays. No, I don't. I haven't seen that overwhelmingly. You really? Was it Democrats or Republicans trying to take down Confederate statues? Confederate statues? Which party was trying to take down Confederate statues? What's, so, yeah, what's the statue got to do with... You're saying that Democrats are pro-Confederate, but weren't Democrats trying to remove Confederate statues? Why are they doing that? Because they're anti-Confederate. No, they're not. What, what did we just watch? We watched the entirety of what the Republican Party has become. Why are they trying to remove the statues then? Because they're trying to change the history of our country. Take your camera and go interview all these black people that are here, okay? Yeah. And you ask the them... The three black they, people that are here? If you ask them... It's not just this lie about Republicans not supporting the Confederate or not seeing Confederate flags almost every time you see a Trump flag. That's not it. That is the that is the blatant. It's the what's unsaid. If you pay attention to this idea, this way of thinking, this way of not seeing what's in front of you, it allows you to accept Donald Trump's behavior. I believe we became a slave state in 1870 when our birth certificates started to get sold to the uh, companies and uh and so there's like uh three different kinds of laws out there and I'm, i don't understand it completely i'm still so were we christian while we had slavery here well being christian is a personal relationship with jesus christ no i meant as a nation because we were talking about as being a, a nation? christian nation that's what you had said before well, well yeah. yeah yeah we were but, but uh Many of us were deceived and many of us were not accountable uh, due to uh, churches not teaching the truth about different things. I see. You know, we need to keep in mind, too, we didn't invent slavery. We ended it. Um, it's uh, it's it was a really hard thing to do. I mean, we fought a civil war over it. England uh, ended slavery just before that, but slavery existed everywhere throughout all of humanity. This explains everything about those who follow Donald Trump. Consider this. Trump tells lies every time he's in front of a microphone and most of the time when he's not. Basically waking up to tell a lie is what Donald Trump is. His people never see him as a liar. Trump break laws. People do not care. Is there anything Donald Trump could do to disqualify him from your vote? No. Nothing at all. You, if he just walked up and shot me. If it was self-defense. Uh, Is there anything he could do to disqualify you from supporting him? I don't think so. It's only because this way of thinking that this is possible. The idea that you've never seen a Confederate flag or don't see a Confederate flag and you're at a Trump rally when you see Trump flags is ludicrous. But so is the idea of supporting Donald Trump and the big lie and every other lie he's told. The stealing of confidential documents. All of that is distinctively necessary. If you are to believe Donald Trump, you need this mindset where I've never seen that. Ask all these black people. It's three of them. That level of willing to try to lie and paint a picture that does not exist. Trump is unchecked in what he says. This is why every time this man gets checked, he looks like he's lost the Olympic race. Then the reporter, Mockler, who does a wonderful job here, says what all three black people and he's stunned that he was called on it. He's showing that he's been at a Donald Trump rally and nobody checks him on his lies. Trump has the largest rallies, but we know we've seen and saw Barack Obama's rally. We've seen and saw Bernie Sanders rally. We know we know it's not true. They don't care. They don't don't care they see the world in a different way this idea that you want to stay you want to stay with what was and what isn't right now meaning you want to focus on the fact that democrats was the party of dixiecrats or those who own plantations this is a fact but you don't want to talk about that conversation which is necessary if you're going to have that conversation you need to talk about that was the was so now you have to talk about the is so what is the democratic party what is the republican party now if you remember in 1964 when one of those first parties democrats and republicans sat a black person, Fannie Lou Hamer and her contingent from Mississippi, all the racist Democrats left to join the Republican Party. Some of those races that you may know are Ronald Reagan, Strom Thurmond. Yeah, all of those guys left to join the Republican Party because the Democratic Party decided to see black people. So we need to talk about what was and what is. And right after that, the Republicans started building out the Southern strategy, which was to use white fear 
white racism to turn out votes for Republican candidates. And it's not stopped since. So if you want to talk about was, be sure to talk about what is. Because what's suffering black people right now, was is a problem. The institutional racism absolute is a problem. But the is is also killing us for sure. And that is the Republican Party. And that is why we find ourselves at this point. And that is why this man don't know that Confederate flags and statues are being taken down by Democrats, including one by myself in my hometown where I'm mayor. And I'm also a Democrat. So newsflash, buddy, even though it won't help you, Donald Trump and the rest of you deplorables are ruining our democracy from a black guy. Peace. I'm Mundell Robinson.